Hello everyone, welcome to my show, I'm the Empath, and we are back with Undertale. So, I changed a few of the dimensions of the recording stuff, by the way, because I just, I kept looking at the videos and I'm like, I don't like that, there's gotta be something that's like weird. And like, I recorded like a whole bunch of them in session and I'm like, yeah, let me mess with the settings. So, I did that, and I don't know, M maybe you'll like this, or maybe you won't, we'll see how it goes. Or maybe I won't like it, but it'll be this way for this video. So yeah. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Okay, I thought I was going to put the show on. Computer. The computer's internet browser is opened to a music sharing forum. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, hey, I remember the bake sale for the spiders. The CD is labeled Gouladay Music. Play it. Play it. You play the CD. See is la labeled Spook Wave. Play it. I actually like that one. The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. Play the CD. It's the same thing, except done differently. Oh, a classic Spook Tune. They don't make the songs like this anymore. Okay, let's play Spook Wave again. Because there are reactions to the freaking CDs. Dang, that ambiance. It's like my whole body is being spooked. And last, how does he react to Gula Day music? Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Oh my god, that's what's going to be playing now? Please stop it. Thank you. There's a snail here. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam Buell. Buell? Is that a kawaii ghost? Oh no. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. <laughs> okay. Alright. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race. And if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 gold to play. Why not? Let's start a gambling addiction, shall we? Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. We've we've done the, we've done this Z thing before. We can do it. Are you ready? Ready? Mm, three, two, one. Yeah. Why isn't it going? What the? Why is it not going? Race end. 
What? Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Okay. Do you want to play a game? Yeah. This time, I'm not going to press C. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Go. I'm not going to encourage it at all. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to eat you a cookie. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh, I'm gonna try again. Alright. One more time. Just one more. Yeah, the snails will race. I get it. Throwing away my gold. I will encourage it once. I'll encourage it periodically as I see fit. I don't get it. I don't get it. If I, if I spend a certain amount of my money there, does it do well? What if, okay, well. Good thing I'm not worried about my money. What's this? Blook Acres, Hotland, Temi Village. Hey, I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do, let's see, well, I'm gonna put the tough glove in there, uh, I'm going to take the manly bandana, and I'm also gonna get rid of the dog residue, item, drop, the base. Drog residue was thrown away. There's stuff to the left. I'm going to see if I can find that duck. I want a new duck. Alright. Save the game. No, uh, save the game. I'm determined. Uh, reward my determination. Hey, the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer. If I accept it letting me go across, then I've got to deal with... No. Not why. Why would I want to go across? For, for what purpose would I want to go across? What is north from this thing? Evil is north from this thing. What? 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 It's a living... Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Uh, 
it's just it's a living. Okay, can I knock again? Will knocking again do anything? Uh, what if I pull your tail? Nothing. I don't understand. Pointless things. Things that are dull because they are pointless. La 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 la. What's in here? Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Can I sell anything to you? Ha! Ah, I'm trying to get rid of my junk. I get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Alright. I got crab apple, which heals 18 HP and looks like a crab. That CT heals 10 HP, speed up in battle. Okay. Cloudy glasses. Armor 5 defense, minus 5 defense. Invincible longer. What? I don't understand. Torn notebook. Weapon, 2 attack, minus 5 attack. Invincible. That makes no sense. I'm gonna exit. Oh, uh, talk. About yourself. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> That's emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Ah, that's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. Ah, great name, huh? It's as I always say, all King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Ah, for the, the, I, I tear my throat apart just to amuse you. And I'm sure there are plenty of... I'm gonna stop right there. Let's, uh... Well, not with the episode, but just with what I'm saying. <laughs> not gonna... Not gonna... That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes... something else. Most people say it's the angel. From the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Ah! The king. The king Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. I'm not going to test that. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah. She's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wah! Well, I don't think what you guys gonna help me. Be careful out there, kid. I wonder if I actually have 199 gold, or yeah, that probably is the case. Just like the, because sometimes there's maximums of stuff. What? That's not. Uh, there's no purpose for that. At least not that I'm currently aware of. There might be a purpose for it. Fun times. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, 
only beings with a powerful soul can leave. I have a soul. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. So I have to have the power of seven human souls. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Oh, I wonder if the person... Because Toriel was talking about humans that fell there before. If the, if, uh, if Undyne has six souls already, and so now she wants mine, because that will be as many as she needs. Oh, nifty! n n n nifty Oh, went the wrong way. N let me do... Let me do down. Do 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 do. Special enemy Temmie appears here to defeat you. I feel like I heard that name before. Oh, Temmie is adorable. Um, feed Temmie flakes. Temmie only wants the Temmie flakes. No, so hungry dies. Oh, uh, what what? What? Um. Um, what, 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 what? Temmie forgot her other attack. I said feed Temmie Flakes. Uh, talk? You say hello to Temmie. Ho! Oh, I'm Temmie! Na, 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 Temmie vibrates intensely. Wait, I shall spare Temmie. I earned nothing. Alright. Alright, so I have to go to that one. Round and round the marble bush, the monkey takes the way to the top of the top of Really? Really? What a not nice thing to do. My nose is being a nose. Wow. Way to go. Way to go, game. Being like that. Good job. Uh, without candles or, or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Okay. Uh, I don't understand. You walked into Mold Small. What? Mold Small is having quiet time. Alert. You wiggle your hips suddenly. Blue. Ha. What? 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 What is this sorcery? Mold. Mold Biggs mills about in the corner. Gosh. Check. Mold Big. One size greater than Mold Average. Some distance. Uh, unhug. You don't hug Mold Big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Chased Wiggle. Nah. <laughs> Mold Big seems comfortable with your presence. All right. So molds fall, mold big, mold average. Crystals aren't guiding my way at all. This sucks.
This sucks. I should have clicked the thing. Wait, did I... Uh, um... Oh, gosh. Where's the lamp? Oh, my gosh. This is not cool. Hold on. Anything here? Uh, uh, freak it. Stop it. Uh, fine. Washua, go ahead and... Wait, no. I need to go to Aaron. Have Aaron flex. Yeah, yeah, you flex, you flex. I get it. Nah, nah, nah. Ow! Yeah, 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 yeah. So much flexing. You flex. You flex. Ni 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 flex, cause I'm muscular. Ow! Last second, are you kidding me? Flex I have here. Flex I have here. Flex. Whistle. Ow! Son of a... Son of a dime. Go ahead. Clean. Yeah, yeah. Green means Mr. Clean. Ow. Mercy. Gonna yeah, refresh this. There we go. Yeah, those freaking crystals were not helpful at all. Oh, it's still getting darker. It's still getting darker. No, no, no. Behind you. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. This looks like it'd become a thing, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Like and favorite if you enjoy. Go ahead and subscribe to become a VIP today. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.